All right, so you've created your own personal portfolio, but no one else can see it. We've got to get this thing on the internet live so that other people can see it. So essentially, in order to do that, you have to have your code running somewhere. You know, you know, whenever we go into the terminal and we do run server, essentially that has to happen on some computer somewhere. So there are ways that you could try and make it go on your own computer and have it run 24-7 but there's so many issues that come up about whether your ISP, uh, the people that provide you internet, will allow you to take incoming traffic for a website, uh, and you'd have to make sure that your computer's up 24 seven if you want your site to be up 24 seven, and there's just all sorts of issues. So that's not a good option. Now, you can go ahead and host it on some other computer, AKA a server somewhere, like something like AWS, DigitalOcean, and those are great, but, they require a lot of work. You have to know the operating systems very well and things change all the time and it can be a little bit of work to make sure that it's always up and running like you'd like it. Now, there's other services that uh, handle a lot of this for you. Like Heroku is a great example of, you just take your project and you essentially send uh, your commits that you have in GitHub over to Heroku and then they deploy the whole thing for you, make sure it's set up, all that stuff. Today, I'm gonna be showing you something that's a little bit in the middle ground. It's called Python Anywhere. Uh, and while it's much simpler than having your own server, it's a little bit more hands-on than doing something like Heroku. So for this, uh, I have a link for you if you'd like to use it. It's zappycode.com slash PA for Python Anywhere. Uh, so go ahead and go there. That will take you to the Python Anywhere website and that will attach an affiliate link for me that basically says if you use some of their services, I'm gonna get a cut. Now, uh, I'd like it if you'd use my link, but it's not necessary by any means. If you just wanna go ahead and go to the website, pythonanywhere.com, it's no issue. In fact, why I picked this service and what's so great about this is you can have a site on here that is completely free. Uh, you don't have to pay any money. In my previous course, I had used DigitalOcean, but you had to pay money after two months. With this, Python Anywhere, you can run at the free level, small websites forever. It's really great. So. With that, uh, go ahead and on the website, let's go ahead and sign up, okay? And go ahead and create a account. We're gonna just do the beginner level, that's where all the free stuff is. And go ahead and fill this out. So once you're done with that, uh, they're gonna have a tour for you, but you can go ahead and X out of that. One thing I would recommend is go ahead and confirm your email address. They'll just send you an email, click on the link that they send you. Now that we've gone ahead and signed up for Python Anywhere, confirmed our email address, we need to upload our code here so that they can run it. Remember, your website being hosted, deployed, just means that your code is running somewhere. And in this case, it's gonna run on Python Anywhere's servers. So a great and really easy way to do this is to use Git, right? We learned how to upload a project to GitHub before. Let's go ahead and take our current project and add it to GitHub so that we can bring it into Python Anywhere. So first let's go ahead and move over to GitHub and let's start a new project. So I'm gonna do new repository. I'm gonna call this Django3 portfolio dash uh, personal portfolio. I'm gonna keep the names similar here. So personal portfolio. Gotta spell that correctly, portfolio, looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna make this public. Feel free to choose your own name. You can do the exact same one as me or you can do something else. Go ahead and create that repository. Okay, once you've done that, we're gonna to have to do the same thing that we did before, which is add uh, the GitHub address as a origin, a place that we can push our code to. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up our terminal. Our server is running, so I'm gonna do a control C and I'm gonna make sure I'm in the Base that has you know the manage.py. You should be there if you're running your server, but if not, make sure you get to that directory. And once you're there, go ahead and do a git status. We should see that git has not been initiated yet, or maybe you did it on your own, that's totally fine. But I'm now going to do a git init, which starts up git, and then I'm just gonna add everything that we have and move it up to the server here. So I'm gonna do a git add dash capital A, and then I'm going to do a git commit dash M and I'll go ahead and oh I have to put in a commit message here so I'm just gonna say first commit exclamation point I'm gonna add that space at the end so the exclamation point works great now that we have that there I'm gonna copy this line of code that's gonna add that origin 
So I'll go ahead and paste that here, enter, and then I'm also gonna say git push to master. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, hit enter on this, is, and this is gonna move the code from our local computer up to GitHub. Now, if this was successful, we should see that if we reload this GitHub page, now it's gonna show the code that's inside of there. Pretty awesome, huh? Okay, now that we have this, what we then need to do is take this code and pull it down from GitHub into Python Anywhere. So we're gonna move over to Python Anywhere, and we're gonna to go to Bash, which basically, this is their terminal. This is their way to access uh, and work with their system. Now, this is a Linux system, meaning that uh, the commands that I type, you have to do the exact same. So up to this point, if you've been on a Windows computer, and you know, you've been using dir instead of ls, you've gotta do the exact same commands as me because regardless of whatever computer you're using, Mac, Windows, Linux, whatever, this little web browser here, this is controlling a Linux server on the Python Anywhere website, okay? So you gotta follow the same commands as me. So once we're here, if we do an ls, we're inside of our home directory here on the server, we want to bring our code into this space. Uh, and if you wanna see more where you are, if you do PWD, that shows you the exact spot that you're at. So in my case, my username was Nick Walter, so I'm at slash home slash Nick Walter, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move back to GitHub and I'm gonna click on this clone or download and copy the URL that we have here. So if you just hit this button, it will copy it for you. I'm gonna come back and say git clone and then paste that in and hit enter. And what's this doing is it's taking all the code from our GitHub repository and putting it here locally. And if you do an ls, which displays the files, you can see there's a new directory here called django3-personal-portfolio. Now, the one thing that's a little bit different here, right? This is a different name than what we had for our top level folder. Now you can change that if you want, uh, but it's not gonna affect uh, the functionality of the site as all at all. So I figure just keep it as this, but if we do like a, CD into this Django 3 personal portfolio and do an LS. You can see here's all of our stuff that we're familiar with. Oh, there's the SQLite 3, the media portfolio. It's all looking good, okay? So this is probably a good place to break here. Uh, we've gotten our code from our local computer, put it up on GitHub, and now have taken it down into Python anywhere. Let's keep moving.